Dynalink Mobile for iOS. If you haven't yet downloaded the mobile app, open your app store and search for Dynalink. Press the Git button to install. The Dynalink mobile app provides an easy to use interface for voice calls, contact lists, voicemails, chat messages, call history, answering rules, greetings, and profile settings. Once the Dynalink mobile app has been installed, click on the icon to start. Enter your credentials provided by your administrator and press the login button. This is the main home screen where your contacts are displayed. You can filter your contacts by all, my contacts, coworker, shared, and contacts from your device. You can search for contacts by using the search bar. To add a contact, press the plus sign in the upper right hand corner. The voicemail page is where all your voicemail messages will be displayed. You can filter the voicemails by new, saved, and trashed messages. The chat page is where your sent and received chat messages will be displayed. You can start a new chat by clicking the icon with a pencil. Once you click the new chat button, your contacts list will appear where you can select the contact you wish to chat with. The call history page shows all your outbound, inbound, and missed calls. The dial pad is accessible from the contacts, voicemails, and call history pages. To start a call, press the dial pad icon in the lower right hand corner. The menu icon on the bottom right is where you can view and update the answering rules and greetings, as well as your profile settings. If you have more than one answering rule, here is where you can drag and drop them in the order you want them in. The greetings page is where you can select which voicemail greeting you want active, or record a new one. To record a new voicemail message, press the add button. Name the greeting, then tap to record. Listen to your new greeting, then press save. Then click the drop down next to your new greeting and press select. To change your status message, click the down arrow next to your username. Here you can also change your first and last name and email address. Navigate to settings in order to enter your mobile number and decide whether you want the app to use your mobile data or not. The about section will show you which version your app is running.